welcome back to Taz's Wing Closet at Wing Studio One. Today I just want to do a quick comparison for you uh, on two popular John Renault bob styles, curly bob styles. So a lot of you are going to want to know the difference between these two so that you can make the right choices for yourself. So today we are going to examine the brand new John Renault's Maya in the color Palm Springs Blonde. We're going to compare that to the John Renault's Julianne in Palm Springs Blonde. The featured wig styles were sent to me for previous reviews from Wig Studio One. If you go below the video, expand the description box, you'll find a link directly to the featured wig styles as, all of, as well as all the other John Renault styles. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So what I'm wearing here is the John Renault's Maya, brand new release for fall 2021. It's a short to mid-length curly bob style. And this is a really nice fresh style coming from John Renault. So just to run down the features for Maya, Maya features a lace front, single monofilament top, and then is machine wefted sides and back. Maya is a short to mid-length voluminous curly bob style with a nice manageable fringe piece. Um, Maya has considerable permatees and volume. This is definitely meant to be a nice full bodied wavy curly bob. And like I said, just such a fresh style coming from John Renault. The front pieces are about seven and a half inches and they kind of sweep back into the style. It's relatively smooth until you get a little farther down on the head so that you can witness all of these beautiful curls. Now what's unique about this curl pattern is that it's very resilient. A lot of times you can get a curl that is lovely when you first bring it out of the box, but once you shake it and comb it, the curl loosens up and becomes a little less defined. What I can tell you about Maya is that even through combing and working it with my hands, that curl tends to stay intact. Now the density on Maya is a fairly thick density with a drier type fiber. It's been texturized on the ends, giving it a nice modern look, but that does create a little bit of a rough texture on the outside. Okay, so you're probably wondering if I had to choose between Maya or Julianne by John Renault, which one would I choose? Now I like them both for who they are. Like we, we all have different personalities, wigs all have different personalities, and I enjoy them both. But in order to love Maya, you're really gonna have to love that uh, thicker denier, drier feel, and sort of this volume that you see all the way around. This is meant to be a full-bodied, round, curly bob style. Now, Julianne, on the other hand, is very similar in terms of um, its length and so forth, but it's very different every, in every other aspect. So let's take a look. So this is Julianne. Now Julianne is, uh, has a lace front, monofilament top, but then it has a completely hand-tied cap and there's no permatease on this Julianne. So it has a little bit of a slimmer profile, right? It's not as voluminous, okay? Julianne probably has a third of the fiber that is present on Maya. Um, so Maya has a thicker density, whereas Julianne is a fairly light density with low permities. But these are the identities of the style. It doesn't make one good, it doesn't make one bad, it just means that if you enjoy a lower profile style, meaning you know your silhouette isn't round and full, it's more slim to the head, you're probably gonna enjoy the Julianne much better. Um, if you like a full body bouncy curl that is super resilient and fun to wear, then the Maya might be the answer um, to your dilemma. And you can see that they're both Palm Springs Blonde. You can see some variants from uh, style to style in the same color. This is just one of those examples where the Palm Springs Blonde on this Julianne does seem to be a bit lighter and brighter. On the Maya, it's a little more muted and powdery. A lot of that sometimes has to do with the texturizing of it. 
when you texturize a wig, you really cut down on the way the, uh, the way the light bounces off of it, which makes it less shiny and a little bit more muted in tone. But I can definitely tell a difference and it's probably within a 10% variance of one another. So finally then let's talk about the curl. You have a very, very loose deconstructed spiral on Julianne. On Maya, however, it is a more defined ringlet type curl that's been mildly deconstructed and texturized on the ends. In terms of length and so forth, the Julianne has a longer front piece. I think this front piece without looking is about 11 inches, 10, 11 inches, and it's about seven and a half on the Maya. And it just kind of sweeps and feathers back into the style on Maya. It definitely stays out of the face. Julianne um, is a little more cantankerous because you have to figure out how you're going to part it in order to keep those front pieces out of the face. So as Maya is pretty much the same length all the way around, Julianne has a, just a, an ever so slight graduation to the front. Okay, So if you really like to have a little bit of a shorter fringe, fringe that stays out of the face, Maya might be the answer to that dilemma. Okay, so we kind of ran down a little bit of the attributes for each style. Now it's time to do a side-by-side -side comparison where you can pick up on even more similarities and differences. So thanks again for joining me today at Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time.